This is Barry's seat. Barry usually never misses a game, whether it be here at Anfield, at home with his family, or at his friend's house. I remember this it was a really important game, and I scored a beautiful goal. The public was really loud, but uh, unfortunately, Barry wasn't at the stadium. Yeah, I remember it well. When he turns around and goes like this, I wish Barry had been there to see that. Yeah, he hadn't been there for a long time. Mo gave me a perfect assist and I only had to put it in and yeah, then you could just celebrate with the whole stadium. But one of the members was missing and this was Barry. I definitely think he was making excuses. You know, was he lying? I don't know, but was he making excuses? There was yeah. always a reason. There was always a different reason as well. He was getting inventive with his reasons. I will never forget this first time when I under in Anfield. The first five minutes, I forget the game. I just watch around me. I heard everyone in this stadium. But on this day, Barry was not here. In the last three to four years, I got to the point where if Liverpool won or Liverpool lost, it didn't have any relevance on, on my life or it just didn't feel anything. Depression, it just clouds over everything. And one of them things was Liverpool Football Club. The first time I went back to Anfield, I was apprehensive in some ways because I was going back to something that I loved so much and then I'd stopped loving it. But I still love it the same, same as I did. Hey, Baz, oh, right, you doing, mate? All right. All right. All right. All right. Yeah. 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 Great to see you back. Well yeah, done. Glad to be back. Yeah, and nice you. to see you, mate. It's been MC for too long, you know. I just can't wait for the kickoff. You know how much I love Liverpool and love going to the game. Yeah, we missed you, but you know what? We're not the only ones who missed you. You want that hug again? Yeah. 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 Oh, yeah. 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 Nice to meet you. Joe? Nice to meet you. you. Big guy. So, Barry, can you tell us what uh, happened to you? Yeah, probably over the last couple of years, my mental health struggles just came, came to the top. And I was just struggling in general. I was depressed, I was down. Um, I was anxious, anxiety, but it, it came to the point where it was then affecting my life. I was going to lose my wife. And then you have to think, let's stop, let's get back, and then let's think how I can be back to the person I was. But now, thankfully, I'm in, now I'm in a good place. Yeah. But how did you do it to get better? What did you do? The first thing I'd done is I, I went to a, a local charity called Flourish and Succeed, and just speaking to people about how I felt, just the power of conversation, the power of talk. The first thing to do is to, to talk. Yeah. To, to talk, you've got to, 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 to talk. To your family. Yeah. Yeah. For me, injuries or something, you don't play good. And uh, my wife, my family knows how to really catch me up and I'm really grateful for this. And uh, yeah. Yes, uh, I think this can happen to everybody. Sometimes it's hard to see what happened with uh, your friend or a family member. Last year, uh, we, we lost my father, so we tried to, to be this support for, for my mother. For different situations, people uh, struggle in their life, so I think it's important to be in contact with the people that you, you love. Yeah. It's just being about supporting each other, and what, yeah, it's, it's being honest with yourself, and then... Well, that's the hardest step, huh? Yeah, that's the it's hardest step. The biggest yeah. part, isn't yeah. it? I wish I'd seen the signs a little bit sooner, but if that seat did go empty again, it wouldn't be two or three weeks down the line where I'd, I'd send a text, I'd knock on the door now. Yeah. It's, just, it's just a slow change. Yeah. And I just look at life differently now. Every day I'm thankful, you know, that. I mean, I'm standing here now, I'm talking to you guys. If somebody would have said that to me 18 months ago, I never would have believed, believed that. Thank you, Barry, to share your story with us. Welcome back. And if you need help, we are here for, for you. Thank you. And yes, I hope your seat will never be empty again. Okay. Take that. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. See you nice next game. Man. Yeah. One of the big things that you do is you check in with each other. You just send that text message, is everything okay? You know, you might be on the bus, you might be at the bus stop, you might see somebody every morning. They're not there on a particular day. Why aren't they there? Are they okay? Just that little message to somebody. And I didn't see you last week. Is everything okay? It, it makes a hell of a difference to somebody because somebody thinks that you actually care. An empty seat can be full of meaning. If you know somebody who is no longer watching the games with you, make sure you check in on them.